Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Laff here. On this uh, video here, I just want to show you guys, especially the new guys, you know, how to change the gaskets on the end of the hoses there. I'm going to go over how to change them and what you need to do to replace that gasket. It's very important for the new guys. A lot of the new guys probably don't even know that, um, you know, you don't have to throw these hoses out. And it's so important to check that gasket periodically every couple of weeks and see what kind of condition it's in. And it's not that hard to change it. And uh, especially if you're using, you know, these hoses to pull vacuums and stuff. And nylog is very important to be used on uh, pulling when you're pulling vacuums. But those hoses, those those hoses that are always being taken on and off, those gaskets go bad all the time. And uh, on this video, I just sh I change a couple in, in my truck and I just kind of bring you along. And uh, hopefully I can put a little video together for the new guys, you know, the young guys. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's nothing special. Like I said, it's just for the new guys, uh, for guys that don't know how to change those gaskets. But, you know, there's probably a lot of old guys that don't know how to change them either. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the gaskets on the end of your refrigerant hoses. See how that one's all mucked up? Ain't gonna work right and I'm gonna show you how to change them. And I got some I got some hoses here that I think there's one one right there that's kinda mucked up. That's what happens. They don't let that I'll show you how to change those rubbers in there. A set of hoses. Let's see this one. This one's in good shape. Um, this one here is in still good shape. If you got something like that, you ain't gonna be able to pull a good vacuum on it. It won't be so bad if you just check and pressure, but to pull a vacuum, if you have gaskets like that, um, no go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to how to change them. You can buy the gaskets, a quarter inch, you can buy the 3 eight. you can buy the half inch ones. You're better off to get the good yellow jacket ones. Some of these Japanese ones are really no good, but you could see um, new gaskets. What you're going to need to change it is um, a good pair of needle nose and some kind of pick to get the old one out, the old gasket out. Let's see if I can set the camera up and... See if I give you some shots, guys. Alright, so this one here, obviously. See if you can see that. You can see that. Gotta get in there with the needle nose. And grab that thing and pull that out of there. Now that's adjustable. You can screw it in or you could, you know, back it out. That's to push the straight of Alvin. Now you don't want to lose that. You see that? I'm gonna hang on to that. See if I can see do this without uh, stabbing myself. You want to go in there and get that gasket out of that old gasket. Pull that old gasket out of there. You can see. Yeah. Um, and open this up and get a new gasket out of here. I'm gonna grab a couple. I'm gonna grab a couple out of this bag. Doing this video more or less for the new guys. All right, guys. So I got a new gasket here. Push the new gasket in, get it seated down all the way. All right there. And you grab this here with your needle nose. It's gotta have a good pair of needle nose. Now you could screw this in, or you could do what you want with it. Now, um, 
If that don't push the straighter, straighter core in, you could bring it out. You can you could adjust this thing if you want. Um, you could adjust that straighter core, the presser in or out as you want. So that's that's just how you fix the hoses up. Very easy. You don't have to buy new hoses, but these have to be replaced. Probably every cup, you know, every month or so, keep an eye on them. When they start getting a little mucky, you change them. And you can see, this one here is still fine. That one's still fine. That yellow one's still fine. So I just had to use the blue one. Um, my eye manifold set up here. My eye connect set up. You can see this one here is had it too so I gotta change that one again see this one's a little bit different now see how this one is see how this one's a little bit different that goes underneath you can see the gasket on this one that thing would be leaking yep yeah. Like I said, you want to buy the good gaskets. Buy the ones from uh, Yellow Jacket. This has to, this one here, this one has to go on for us. See it? Now I found that there's been some gaskets that are smaller than others. If you ever see the little vacuum setup that's kind of like on a 45 degree, that one's got smaller gaskets in it. Um, they're three sixteenths gaskets instead of quarter inch. See, so that's got a brand new gasket in it now. See, I'm gonna show you something. You can see that gasket smoked. See, that ain't gonna work so well. Here's another one that doesn't have the Schrader core in it, but you could grab one and stick one in there. You could make a Straight to call the presser out of any of them. This one here that you can't see how it's. But this one you can. This would be the 45. This is the side. Actually, I got this hose from Two Check Tools. Um, when they sent me the eye connect, they didn't send me a. They didn't send me this. They sent me this one without a depressor. But I had this small one in my bag that I kind of like it because it's shorter. So I use that one instead for the eye connect. Here's another one. Some of these you might find a smaller diameter than quarter inch. They're three sixteenths. Some of the Japanese brands. Some of my vacuum stuff. I want to show you guys something. You can see these. These are yellow jacket. That would be the quarter inch one. You could adjust it. You could take that out and change that if you had to. Here's another quarter inch one. That's fine. This piece of shit right here. You see this? This is smaller than quarter inch. See how that gasket gets mucked up? That's the vacuum thing. See how that gasket? This isn't quarter inch. This is 3 16 So you're going to need special gaskets for this. See how they get mucked up after a while? Best to use Nylog on this stuff. Whenever you use it, put Nylog. You can see that one's already getting mucked up. But this is a 3 16th one. That's why I don't like using this thing, because it's got wimpy gaskets in it. They're different. I know they're different, because I tried putting quarter inch gaskets and they wouldn't fit. I had to get the shit cheap gaskets. See if I can replace that gas. We'll try putting a quarter inch. We'll try putting a quarter inch one in there. I know that's still okay, I guess. 
the side sees a little mucked up. I'm gonna buy these gaskets, better off buying a few bags of them. Just a quarter inch. See what don't wanna fit in there? Well, maybe it's going in there. It's going in there. Calling me a liar. There you go, there's a new one right there. See it? New gasket. Adjust it, you can screw it in, do what you want with it. You can adjust it if it's too far out, you tighten it up, guys. Tighten it up, put it in there. See, that's how you adjust it, you just turn it in there and screw it in. See it? There you go. I guess the quarter inch ones do fit in there, but. Same thing with these here, you know, if you want to change them, same thing. Change the gaskets. You don't need to throw it out. These Appions are a little bit different, I believe. They're You guys get the picture though. You know, yellow jacket, them are the best ones. Ten gaskets, uh, the quarter inch. Charging holes gaskets. Um, I think I bought like three packs. I buy like 30 at a time. and I'll clean my hoses up as needed. Alright guys, now, nothing fancy but, you know, it's very important to keep those gaskets new. You can see what happens to them. They don't... I get mucked up, guys. They don't last forever, that's for sure. Make all the difference in the world with new gaskets. It's not that big of a deal. I just showed you guys how to do it. It takes two minutes. Will be these these hoses are ready to be reused you know you could check this end also you could pull that end out also if you had to but you know this end is hooked hooked to the um, the manifold once you put them in with nylog you probably never have to play with them 